Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> Life. Okay. Mm. Okay. They will come down people behind the place. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, good morning, good morning. How are you? How's everyone in this rainy day? Are we live so that we can proceed? Uh, thank you very much for all those that are joining us by social media and to you the media uh, we're here for the matter between the people versus Mao Sampa and Mr. Ngona you are aware that uh, as private prosecutors our lawyers have raised fraud and impersonation charges against Mr. Mao Sampa and Mr. Ngona the matter was coming up for uh, a ruling over a request that we had made to the court last week on Friday and as you noticed, the accused persons, Miles Sampa and Morgan Iwana, didn't even bother to turn up once again. Uh, just a quick update. The DPP had written a letter last week to discontinue these matters. We raised concern that that was not procedural. The DPP needed to come to court, enter a nolle and discontinue the matters other than through a letter. He refused to give consent to the private prosecutors, citing matters that are in the High Court. So today we're coming for ruling before Magistrate Litia, and there have been some developments that I will now refer to the acting president, Honorable Given Ruvinda, or the, the vice president. You know, he acted as vice as acting president for a long time. So I refer to him as uh, acting president. The vice president, Honorable Given Ruvinda, who speak to the development in court and give his comments. Good morning, fellow citizens. Uh, following us from wherever you're following us this morning. 
the patriotic front is uh, by no doubt the most formidable political party in this country and it is a political party that cannot be intimidated that cannot be cowed and today is one of those days when we say leave to fight another day we know the orchestration of Vimingalato by Haga Inde Hijirema. We know how Haga Inde Hijirema has compromised all governance institutions in this country. But we in the Patriotic Front are not in any way going to give up because we know that not every citizen shall fall prey to the dictatorship of Haga Inde Hijirema. We are happy today that uh, Magistrate Litia made the ruling that he did, the ruling that was in agreement with the position taken by DPP Gilbert Piri, that the matter of a private prosecution initiated by the Patriotic Front against an expelled member of the party should be discontinued. Unfortunately for Major Street Litia, he may have forgotten that there is a similar matter in the annals of our judiciary. And this is a matter that our lawyers, our competent lawyer Jonas Zimba, competently presented before Major Street Litia. This is a matter that occurred in 2014 in which the then DPP Mutembonchito in a very strange manner wanted to prosecute his own friends Fred Membe and his other friends and people complained and the matter was referred to the High Court and the High Court found that Mutembonchito as DPP did not have the locus to prosecute his own friends. The best he should have done is to recuse himself, to declare interest and say, these are my friends, I can't prosecute them. And this is the same matter that has been presented today to Major Secretary. As all of you Zambians are aware, Miles Waliasampa when he was still member of parliament on the PF ticket on the 15th of December 2022 when he was debating the appointment of Gilbert Piri as DPP in parliament declared that Gilbert Piri was not only his lawyer but his personal friend and now the same person who is a personal friend of a person we want to prosecute has come up and written a letter that we must discontinue the prosecution. The least that is expected of Gilbert Piri in this matter is for him to recuse himself. He must declare interest. He must tell us that Miles Bwadiasampa is my childhood friend. Miles Bwadiasampa is my client. And because he's my client, I cannot eat with both hands. Because this is double tovela. <laughs> this is Imingalato of Haga Inde Hijirema. Your own friend comes and says to the court, no, this one is my friend. And because he's my friend, I don't want him to be prosecuted. What kind of country shall we have? I am happy that uh, Major Street is very expeditious. He did not uh, ask for more than 24 hours to study the matter so we shall be back here tomorrow to come and uh, hear the finding of major street on our application our position is firm that uh, friends must not be allowed to interfere with the justice system in honor of their friends this is the reason why there is the law of recusal 
a magistrate or any person who's involved in the delivery of justice, once they find themselves conflicted because one of the parties to a matter is their personal friend or their relative, the honorable thing to do is to declare interest and recuse themselves. We were hoping that Gilbert Peary would have done that. He hasn't done that, and because of that, we have asked the magistrate to delve into this matter on our behalf. So we shall be here tomorrow to come and hear what uh, the magistrate will say. But for you, members of the Patriotic Front, mark my words, mark my words, it is only a matter of time. And time shall vindicate us. Let those monkeys be jumping from tree to tree. Let them go and harvest the ground as they did not sow. But time will vindicate us. The owner of the maize field one day will come and take possession. And God in heaven is watching over this. We cannot have one person creating so much despondency in the country. We cannot have one person threatening the peace of this country. We cannot have one person threatening the continued existence of Zambia as a multi-party democracy. This reminds me to say to you Zambians, how cheap can the Inspector General of the Police be, Grafeo Musamba? I think this is the reason why bringing people who were retired to bring them back into service might also be a very bad thing. Because then when they come back and obtain position, they don't think about the job, they think about who appointed them. How can Musamba possibly say he cancelled the memorial of Tutu Angurube because I said people must go in their party regalia? What is wrong with people going in their party regalia to a memorial service of a member of their party? Imagine. If indeed that was the reason why they cancelled the memorial of Tutu Angurube, did I commit an offense? And if I did, Grafo Musamba, you know my house. Send a call out. I'll present myself speedily so that you can charge me with the offense of inciting. You even go ahead and say, Luvinda was inciting breach of peace. When did people wearing party regalia become a breach of peace? I want to inform you, Grafe or Musamba, your days are also numbered. One day, you shall answer for these atrocities you are causing and these threats you are causing. You cannot continue to govern this country on threats. And as far as I'm concerned, I am very happy that you showed us that even you, Grafe or Musamba, Inspector General of Police, you are just a scared little man, like your boss. Scared little men. That's what you are. But I want to assure you, the strong men of Zambia the strong women of Zambia shall continue to stand strong and firm because we stand on firm ground. Thank you very much, citizens, for following. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Does anyone have a question? Thank you very much. It's a matter I wanted you that you speak to of the issue, but you have to be This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.